get him back there. <laughs> I still don't know how you got to go there. These I can see. That one over there, the men are too. Wow. I don't know how in the world they got it. Just all these seven, but really. I can see almost all of them targets. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Good afternoon and welcome to the Union, Tracy and Ryan, in front of their loved ones and dear friends. Welcome also to my debut as a wedding officiator, a task I never thought a gay agnostic would be asked to perform. <laughs> I know Brian and Tracy are grateful that all of you made it to share their special day here in beautiful Los Gatos. The invitation you received goes well beyond sharing this special day with them. And your duty to them does not end when you purchase that well thought out gift from their Creighton Ballard registry. It is truly an invitation to share in their lives moving forward, to watch this budding marriage grow and prosper, and continue to share in their lives as other milestones are reached in the coming years. Standing here before these two enter marriage together, embracing their love for each other, and announcing to their friends and family that no act by man or spirit will separate them demonstrates a truly remarkable commitment. The commitment they embark on is vast and beautiful, and all of you have been invited to see this special day together. In our society today, there is much debate about what marriage is and what this institution is supposed to be. I can tell you that marriage has nothing to do with someone's sexual orientation, race, creed, or religion. Marriage is an institution that simply represents a deep love and commitment for your fellow human and something that is fundamental to the human experience. What Tracy and Brian demonstrate is that love and commitment can bud into a beautiful relationship that you never want to end. By entering marriage, you acclaim to your family, friends, and the world that the two entering marriage, the relationship they enter, supersedes all others in their life, and the two entering the institution of marriage will forever be together until the consequences of death make this impossible. I promise Tracy and Brian I would include a Skinnerian analysis of their relationship <laughs> as part of their wedding ceremony. For those of you that have not studied the science of behavior, this might sound a bit odd. However, please bear with us. <laughs> the relationship between Tracy and Brian started at a serendipitous meeting at a party. This relationship was selected from a variety of relationships experienced <laughs> through their lives. However, this relationship continued due to the love and strong history of reinforcers associated with it. As Skinner once said, the consequences of an act affect the probability of its occurrence again. One can affirm the consequence of Tracy and Brian being together is one of reinforcement, hence making their love more probable in the future under similar conditions. As a figment of time progressed and the schedule of reinforcers remained strong and ever present, their love grew stronger more reinforced, brighter, and everlasting. Their love is one behavior that will never be extinguished. No relationship is perfect and produces continuous quantities of reinforcers. We cannot expect your relation to be perfect and not to have bumps along the way. A more intermittent schedule of reinforcement in a marriage <laughs> further abates the possibility of extinction. As Skinner and Furster elegantly showed in their chamber, a reinforcement schedule that is intermittent maintains the behavior in a strong and steady manner. I have no doubt the schedule of reinforcers maintaining your relationship will allow for a cumulative record that denotes an eternal positive slope. In more mentalistic words, Tracy and Brian's marriage will continue to prosper and remain strong for the rest of their days. I have had the distinct pleasure of knowing Tracy and Brian each as individuals and then as one cohesive package. This relationship is already many years in the making, just turning over its first chapter. I know the forthcoming chapters will continue to proliferate the already deep love one feels for the other. It is funny how serendipitous events in our life have such lasting consequences. Like the night Tracy and Brian met at a random party. I must say, this day is truly the culmination of a relationship I saw firsthand begin. That fateful night that brought these two lovers together, ready today to give their lives to each other. 
Tracy and Brian have such great things to bring to the table. Each of them enhances, enhances each other's personality, their intellect, interests, and love complement each other like gourmet food and aged wine. The list of cherishable, lovable, and joyous things this relationship in front of us possesses is too long for any one ceremony. In our contemporary society, so many rashly marry and make frivolous commitments. I know this relationship could not be farther from that Tracy trend. and Brian are here today to proclaim their love for each other and enter a life for the rest of their days. Tracy and Brian, before we proceed, please answer the following two questions, declaring your willingness, desire, and need to be together in front of all who stand here today. Tracy and Brian, do you with family and friends as your witnesses, present yourselves willingly and of your own volition to be joined in marriage? I do. I do. Will you promise to care for each other in the joys and sorrows of life whatever pleasures or hurdles lay in the future, and to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment of your life together? I do. I do. The exchanging of the rings is a symbolic gesture denoting the strong and eternal commitment Tracy and Brian have chosen to share with each other. By wearing the ring on the finger, they in turn show the world the love and commitment shared between these two for the rest of their lives. May we please have the rings. Brian, please take the ring. Please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. An undying desire to be with you. An undying desire to be with you. You are my true love. You are my true love. Best friend. Best friend. And I have chosen to be with you for the rest of my life. And I have chosen to be with you for the rest of my life. Every time you look down and see this ring. It is to remind you of these feelings. May our relationship last 100 years longer than it takes nature to degrade the metals that make up this ring. I love you and will always love you. Tracy, please take the ring. Please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Give you this ring as a symbol of my love. An undying desire to be with you. An undying desire to be with you. You are my true love. You are my true love. Best friend. Best friend. And I have chosen to be with you for the rest of my life. And I have chosen to be with you for the rest of my life. Every time you look down and see this ring. Every time you it is to remind you of these feelings. May our relationship last 100 years longer than it takes nature to degrade the metals that make up this ring. I love you and will always love you. I bestow on Tracy and Brian a stanza from the late American poet Bayard Taylor. The stanza is from the poem Bedouin Song. I love thee, I love but thee, with a love that will not die till the sun grows cold and the stars grow old. Before we conclude this ceremony, I would like the groom to complete an old Jewish tradition. The tradition entails breaking a glass as a variety of metaphors. For one, the breaking of the glass reminds us how fragile love can be. As such, love must be protected, a task I have no doubt Tracy and Brian will be successful at. The breaking of the glass also reminds us of the pain and suffering that continues in our world. May we be reminded of the couples that are not afforded the same right to marry in this country and across the world because of some characteristic outside their control. May we all hope that the world become a more tolerant and progressive place and joyous occasions like this suffocate the evil in our world. Another tradition is the belief that your marriage lasts as long as it would take all the shards of glass to come back together. May your marriage, Tracy and Brian, last this long. Mazel tov! Brian and Tracy, you have shared your deep commitment
and love for each other in front of all who stand here today. You have made it blatantly obvious that you are entering marriage in good faith and of your own volition. I wish you the both I wish you both the best as you enter marriage together and endless days of happiness. By the power vested in me by the state of California as deputy commissioner on this day, July 7th, 2012, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now change your Facebook status. <laughs> Family and friends, it is my distinct pleasure to announce and present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Miller.